Hey, this is Coach Boyston, and in this screencast, we're going to be looking at the importance of cell division. So why is it important that cells divide? Well, you can see the two on the screen here. One of them is growth. Cells divide, allowing us to get bigger. That's why we've gone from one cell when we were conceived to trillions of cells today. Um, also, repair. When cells are damaged, we've got to have a way to replace them. And one way we do that is by cells replicating to repl replace those damaged cells in the first place. And so when we think about cell division and its importance, I want you to understand that we are not one cell that just got bigger. Um, we are actually one cell that replicated into two, which replicated into four, which replicated into eight, so on and so on. To again, we are made up of trillions of cells today. And so we went from one cell to trillions of cells. What's really unique is all of these cells carry the same DNA. And so cell division, especially with mitosis and body cells that we're mainly looking at today, is going to occur and produce cells that are genetically identical, have the same DNA. And so all of our cells have that because they've all replicated from an original cell. And so to understand these concepts that we're going to be looking at on cell division in this unit, we have to understand this idea of haploid and diploid. So if we look at our first one, haploid, you'll notice it just has one set of chromosomes. That's why we always mark it with just N, as opposed to diploid cells, which are going to have two N or have two sets of chromosomes. And so our haploid cells that we find in our body, that is going to be our sex cells. And so in this case, that is our sperm and our egg. Now humans in our body cells, our somatic cells they're called, our body cells have 46 chromosomes. Well, if our body cells have 46 chromosomes, sex cells are haploid. They're different. They only have half that number. So a sperm is going to have 23 chromosomes. An egg is going to have 23 chromosomes. So sex cells are always going to be haploid. And the way I remember that, haploid starts with ha. kind of sounds like half. So sex cells are always going to have half the number of the body chromosomes. And so in this case, the diploid cells, which are our body cells, like I said, sometimes called somatic, they're actually going to have 46 chromosomes, or two sets of chromosomes. And so they're called diploid. And so what happens is, is when this sperm and egg join together and fertilize, what we get is we get a zygote. And this zygote is going to be a combination of this sperm and this egg. And so when you add 23 from the sperm, 23 from the egg, that new zygote now has 46, which is what organisms like us humans have. That's how many chromosomes our body cells have. Now, every organism is a little unique. So like if I told you uh, the body cells of an organism had 100 chromosomes, well, that would mean the sex cells would have to have half. Why? Because the sex cells are haploid. They always have half the number of the body. So if the body had 100 chromosomes and the body cells, for that organism, the sex cells would carry 50. And so in this case, ours has 46. So the haploid cells, sperm and egg, are going to have 23. And so diploid is our body cells, two sets of chromosomes, haploid, just half. Um, and so if we look at this process, we know the first cell that makes us who we are is that zygote. It has, a, it has our DNA, it has 46 chromosomes, and then it's going to begin to replicate. And if we look at this process, you can see day one, there's our zygote. By day two, it's actually two cells. It's divided one time. It's divided again by roughly midday, and then divided even again by day three. And so it's about eight cells. And then by day four, those eight have continued to replicate and replicate. Day five, this is called a blastocyst. That's about 150, 130 cells. And then uh, day five, also what happens, you probably didn't know this. I didn't know it until I started studying it. We actually hatch from an egg. So our little embryo here, our blastocyst, actually will hatch from its egg to implant in the female's uterus, in the side wall of the uterus, to uh, begin developing a connection with the mother there. And so kind of interesting there. And, and obviously this little situation here is very close to me. Me and my wife had trouble getting pregnant, so we had to do what they call in vitro fertilization. Um, they took her egg, like you see up here at the top left, and in a petri dish down here, down at the bottom, they actually injected one of my sperm directly into the egg and fertilized it directly. It grew in a petri dish for five days, and after five days, if you look down here, um, I actually have a picture of what my son looks like at five days. Most people probably don't have that. Um, this is his, the blastocyst stage. He's about 150 cells or so, and you can see this little mass right here. That is the po portion that is going to become him. Um, as these cells continue to divide and replicate. 
And so why is cell division important? Again, it's how we grow. Again, we said we can also repair from it, but it's how we grow. And so in this picture here, this is him after about seven weeks. You can see him sucking on his thumb there. Uh, this is 12 weeks. He's even bigger. He has his fingers. Everything's going on. This is 22 weeks. Um, getting pretty close there to coming out. And then today at three years of age. And so he's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger as it goes because his cells are dividing. And obviously at his age, with the growth rate that he's going through, his cells are dividing at a much greater rate than, say, some of my age is, are, are replicating that. And so, again, why is cell division so important? Well, it's what allows us to grow as organisms. It's also what allows us to repair damaged cells. And so when there is damage, such as a cut, we can grow and heal and repair that because of cell division. So hopefully that was helpful. I'm Coach Boyston. You guys have a good day.